Beginning of the 1987 NFL season was disappointing as it was a strike season, but it did also mark the beginning of Bo Jackson's short but illustrious career with the Raiders. Finally, I'd gotten away from the Buccaneers after holding out, but he would get his first action November 1st, 1987. It's the Patriots. Here comes Bo, Bo Jackson. There's been a lot of jokes about Bo, but believe me when I tell you, he can play football. One of the greatest players ever to come out of college football, in the opinion of every sophisticated scouting combine report. Dick's Some people had him rated as the greatest running back that ever came into the game. Out of Auburn, Bo's 40-yard dash time in particular was much touted. Obviously regarded as one of the greatest athletes of all time, if certainly not in the decade of the 1980s. He was supposedly clocked at a 4.1940. The Raiders wouldn't waste any time in giving him the ball. Backs it up. Jackson's the eye back. And here's Bo Jackson with his first NFL carry. Bo hasn't lost a whole lot, has he? Bo Jackson takes it out across the 25-yard line. His first carry of the National Football League is good for 12 yards. Bo, last week, members of the press asked him about didn't he have anything to say after the game? And he said, I don't want to say anything until I do something. Bo would find some tougher sledding throughout the game, ending up with eight carries for 37 yards. He actually gets hit pretty good. Uh, one of the carries later in the highlight here, uh, rushing for 4.6. But think of Bo. Uh, if you ever played Tecmo Bo, you'll remember these days. Um, Bo didn't meet many carries. It was like Barry Sanders when he touched the ball. Uh, his yards per carry was unbelievable. He averaged 6.84 yards per carry in the 87 season. You can see this nice tackle here on Bo. And, of course, his famous game against the Seahawks on the 30th of November in the same year, he rushed for 221 yards on just 18 carries. Bo was obviously a phenomenal athlete. Pitch back. Here comes Bo. He's going to get it a lot in Bo Jackson. Holding on to the ball as the Patriots are hunting the football. On a second down and 11 play, Bo Jackson runs it ahead for a gain of about six yards. So Bo has 18 yards on three carries so far, including that one-yard loss. He almost loses this one. Watch it kind of come out of his arm. When he tries to, oh, you can see that Blackman, 55, almost knocks it out of his arm. Bo recover. you got to remember now, Bo Jackson has not played in a game in two years. He hasn't been hit in two years. They have him officially for three carries for 21 yards. Bo Jackson's back in the ball game, Don. Bo would find tougher sledding, as mentioned, and this play, he would hit by a, another TA Sports highlight reel, I believe Nelly, uh, inside linebacker, number 57, for New England. Go watch his video on TA Sports, his college days, um, lay in the wood just like he did here on uh, Bo. Of course, Andre Tippett, Hall of Famer, tied up his legs, but uh, Nelly laid a nice hit on him to introduce Bo to inside linebacker play in the NFL. Of course, Bo would run by a lot of these linebackers throughout the rest of his career. He's picked up the offense. That first step, lead block by 35 Smith. Andre Tippett just makes an all-pro play. He's an all-pro. As a sophomore at Auburn, Bo Jackson averaged 7.7 yards a carry. As a junior, he injured a shoulder against Texas that required surgery. His right shoulder had to be wired after separation. Bo actually would come out of the backfield on this play and showcase some of his elite speed. I mean, in this you know, 1980s, a 230-pound running back that could run like this uh, was unheard of. Him. Uh, you know, better throw him ball here, but would have had a chance to show off his speed even more so. But just an incredible athlete. He'll just got a strong arm. That looks like Bo could have caught that one. It'd been like he was playing center field for the Kansas City Royals. That's his hobby now, playing baseball. Jackson has completely separated his right shoulder. In Bo's best run of the game, he showcased not only his elite speed, but his amazing ability to cut on a dime with his balance across the sideline. Absolutely incredible. I would argue Barry Sanders is the greatest running back of all time. It could be argued that certainly Bo Jackson, Bo knows, Bo Jackson was the greatest athlete to ever play in the NFL. And had shots at him, clear shots at him. Now watch what happens here. He gets up inside, stops, comes back outside. Now watch him outrun these two guys. You don't coach this. And then he's still able, well, he steps out right there. That was impressive. That's a big man with a lot of speed and a great deal of control of his body. Bo can do some damage. If you remember this time or you're live during the time when Bo entered the NFL, you know the amount of media hype around Bo in this game. Uh, in fact, later on, you'll see how, many, how much media was at this game. In fact, there was kind of a much-talked-about interview with Bo at halftime uh, with Costas, 
questioning Bo's motives, etc. So he's an interesting character. It has not been told prior to this. When he was in high school, he was such a good baseball player that the Yankees drafted him. They went down to sign him. I know the lawyer that went down for the Yankees. He brought with him a certified check payable to Bo Jackson for $350,000. He'd committed to Auburn by then. They couldn't find Bo Jackson. Was he hiding in Auburn? We didn't know where Bo was. No kidding. Do they still have the check? They still have the check. Well, he's going to earn a lot more than that. I'm sure that Bo Jackson is going to start in the backfield and begin the second half. I would indeed start the second half. Again, Flores, who was the coach at the time, wouldn't waste any time giving him the ball. You can see some other great Raiders in this video as well. Christensen, Todd Christensen, of course, James Lofton, uh, Hall of Famer, uh, with a long career with the Packers before joining the Raiders. But uh, Bo would rip off another nice run here. Uh, if he kept his balance, he took it to the house. In the eye set, that's him, number 34, 6'1", 232 pounds. Jackson breaks it again and takes on tacklers, and Bo Jackson on a first. You have to remember, if you weren't alive during this time, that defensive backs were still quite small. We didn't have safeties that weighed 220 pounds. And so when a guy like Bo Jackson got in the second level or in the secondary, uh, bad things could happen if he didn't get out of the way. Smith is the lead blocker, does a good job, but watch Bo Jackson make Lepet just dive at his feet. That's where you tackle big guys or you end up on a stretcher. But we get a few more carries during the game. Nothing spectacular, especially this one here. He gets dropped for a loss. But obviously the Bo Jackson era, again, as short as it was, just the short four years that we got to enjoy his talent before that fateful game against the Bengals in 1990. Um, the beast had been let out of the camp. Something that Marcus Allen has in abundance. Bo Jackson's the eye back, and he has the ball. Jackson takes a stick. Compare Bo Jackson, too. I was talking to Bob Howey. And he said, you can't compare anyone else. There's never been a guy this big, this fast that I know of. Yeah. About that, Bo, of course, was one of the first two-sport athletes to really show out, Dion, to come later. Um, his personality also attracted quite a crowd and made for some unique stories. He put a sign over his locker, don't be stupid and ask any football questions. <laughs> a teammate changed that to read as the season went on. He started to strike out a lot. Don't be stupid and ask any baseball questions. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this presentation for TA Sports of Bo Jackson's first game in the NFL and first carries, even with the poor video and audio quality. Still an historic game. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. TA Sports.